Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn JPanel in Java programming language. In today's session, you will learn how to create multiple panels on the frame. So this program we have created in our previous video session. So guys, if you have not watched it, please watch it first. Then only you will understand how to create multiple panels on the frame. So in our previous program, what we have done, we have created a panel and this color is red and you can see the output of it. This is the output. This panel is covering the complete frame, right? So how to create multiple panels? So let me do small changes inside it. So this is, let us consider this is a panel number one. So I will create different objects, panel one, panel one. So I will copy this code in order to save time or we can create one more panel here. This is the panel number two. This is panel two, right? This is again panel two and I will add this panel two on the J frame also. So I will close this window, right? So let us save this program. Okay, before saving, let me just change the color of this panel two also in order to understand the different panel is created or not. So let us run this and you will see what is the output. So here we go. You can see it is showing your blue color panel is created, but where is the red color panel? I can't see the red color panel. What is the region of it, right? So you can see only one panel, right? I can't see another panel also, right? We have to see all the panels you will create. But if I will change the color of this panel too, for example, I will change like from this blue to orange. And I will see this program. You will see what is the output of it. You can see on only the orange color panel is visible. Let me just close it and I will close it. In the similar way, I will create the multiple panels or I will create one more panel here. So I can mark this panel number three. This is a panel number three. And again, this is a panel number three. This is a panel number three. I can change this color is from orange through blue, right? So let me just save it and you will see what is the output of it. Just wait a moment. Here you can see what is the output. So here you can see the it is taking. If you are creating the multiple panels on the frame, it is taking the color of your last panel like so your panel number three color is the blue color and the rest two panels I can't see here. So you have to just work on the layout manager of your J frames. You have to align these different panels in the different, different border, right? So you know very well in the previous video, we have discussed the J frame layout manager is the border layout that is divided into five different locations like east, west, north and south. So you have to just make, you have to align your different panels in the different borders. So how will you align it? So before aligning, let me help you to understand what is the border layout, right? Okay, so let us understand what is a border layout. So the frame default layout is the border layout or if you are trying to add multiple components on the frame you have to align these component in the different borders in the different locations so what is the purpose of it a border layout layout containers or arranging and resizing its component to fit in five different regions like north south east west and center so these are the five different uh, locations where you can set your components right so this is about your border layout and how to set it we will use the set layout manage set layout method in order to set the layout of any of the component but let me help you to understand some part so here you can see this line is very very important what is the meaning of it the component are laid out according to their preferred size and the constraint of the container size. So the north and south component may be stretched horizontally and east and west component may be stretched vertically. So the center component may stretch both horizontally and vertically to fill any space left over. So here you can see 
whatever the last component the panel you are creating it is by default will put in the location of the center if you will not align in different different borders and it will stretch out in the both directions horizontally and the vertically right so you have to set all these panels in the different different locations in the different different borders so how will you set it let me help you to understand okay let us move to the programming code so how will you add it for example you know very well we have the five different locations of your border layout so let me help you to understand here you can see these are the five different locations that is east west north south and center so you have to align your panels in the different different borders so how will you align it let me help you to understand so for example this is panel number one so how will you align this panel in different location for example I would like to align this panel in the east location. So how will you set it? So I will write the border. You will write the border layout dot east, right? So let us save this program and run it. You will see this panel will come in the east part. You can see this is the red color. You can see in the east part. In the similar way, the panel two you can put inside for example the border layout dot west so or the panel 3 you can write panel 3 comma layout manager dot north the north direction layout not layout manager this is border layout right border layout dot north right clear so let us run this and you will see what is the output of it you can see in the this is the east in the east we have a red color in the west we have orange color in the north we have a blue color in the similar way you can add or you can create two more panels so how will you create two more panels let me help you to understand and you can fit in the different locations so this is panel number four i can change this panel four this is again a panel four this is again a panel four or this is again a panel this is not panel four this is five right so this is five this is five so this is your panel number four i will make i will change the color of it i will use this is a black color right lay border layout dot this is okay we are setting the location uh, i can write the center and its color is black this is the properties of your panel number five okay let us come to the panel number four i will change this panel number four or this will be in the south region right so in each direction you can put one container right so you can change the color of it for example its color is you can use the green okay so what we have done so far this is panel one this is panel two panel three panel four and this is panel five and we are just aligning all these panels in the different locations like east west north south and center with different colors so let us run this program and you will see Guys, you can see this is your border layout and how will you see it, right? You can see this is your border layout, clear? So, how will you align these different panels on your different borders, right? So, this is the way of doing it, okay? But sometimes you would like to align these panels into your custom locations. So, how will you provide it? So, in order to set these panels into the custom locations what will you do you have to set the layout means you have to remove the default layout of your frame so how will you set your default layout of frame as null so you will call a function set layout or inside it you can pass null so now your frame default layout is null previously it was border layout but right now your frame layout is null or right now you can assign 
your different panels at your custom locations okay so let me just run it what will be the change you will see here you can see it is not showing any panels it is not showing any panels no color right because what we have done we have set layout null so right now your frame layout is null or you are trying to assign or align different panels on the different locations so let me close it and how will you fix this problem so first you will set the frame layout as null after this you will remove this part right you will remove this part and what can you do how to provide the custom location of your component so simply you can write panel one dot set bounds method so right you will see panel one dot set bounds method or it will tell you the x y width and height position for example the x position is 50 y position is 50 width is again 50 and the height is again 50 so you can see we have set the custom position and size of a frame on size of a panel sorry we have set the custom location and size of a panel on the frame so let us run this and you will see what is the output of so guys you can see this is your panel here right this is your panel this is panel number one which is of red color in the similar way you can create the multiple panels or you can set the location so i will copy this code and i will come to this part so this is panel number two panel number two you can set the position like x position is one one zero y position is the same or you will just remove this border layout dot quest it is not required you will save this program and you will run it you will see what is the output of it so here you can see this is the another panel which is coming again in the same height of orange color in the similar way you can set the custom location and the size of all the panels so here you can write like 160 in the similar way i will put here this is panel number four panel four and here you can write 160 and 210 so i will save it and i will run it so i will change this part also it is not required it will not work here right similarly it will not work so let us run this program and you will see the output so guys here you can see the different panels we are creating right different panels we are creating you can change the size of your frame like size is like 400 or in the similar way you can put the custom location of your panel number five also or here you can write 216 or you can write 27 270 some positions you can set set bound function will set the custom location and the size of your component let us run it and you will see what is the output of it so guys here you can see we have created the multiple panels or in the similar way you can create multiple panels on the frame or you can set your custom locations right you can set the custom location and size but before setting your custom location and size of your component you have to set the default layout of your frame is null otherwise this method will not work guys if you will not set the layout of your frame as null so these set bound function will not work let me just show you and i will run it you can see it will looks like this weird output you will get right it will show this weird output it will not work so you have to set the layout of your frame as null or you can position your any component on the frame with the default or with the custom location and custom size so guys i hope you understand this journey of creating multiple panels on the frame i hope you understand this part so guys please if you like this video so please click on the like button subscribe the channel and please do not forget to write your feedback on the comment section thank you bye bye have a great day in the next session i will show you how to create the another component the next component of the swings on the frame and the j panels thank you bye bye have a great day